Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to War Thunder. This is the High Dragon's Breath. Bow wow. Welcoming you to Japanese sniping. This is the Nato. Something that is really interesting and kind of funny to look at. This is an armored car and a tank combined. And the reason I say that is this. It's rated as a tank destroyer, which is non non exclusive to tanks or armored cars. It has a tank gun. Uh it has the uh what is it? The it's the gun that the the Cheeto has. It has the same gun as the Cheeto, so this long this long seventy five that has uh a very large armor-piercing high-explosive round, and then an APCR shot, which I can't use. Uh, which, by the way, these rounds have almost identical uh, performance to the Panzer IV F2 75mm, uh, which is a perfect gun for 3.3. Uh, it's got a tank gun, but it has no armor. So, you know, that, that would immediately yell to you, oh, armored car, tank destroyer, or... A uh, half track tank destroyer, but it's pretty clearly the body of a truck. Engine in front, transmission in front, fuel in the rear bed, and then open bed. So you're like, okay, it's a truck then. It's got driver and machine gunner up here. Uh, even though there's there's no machine gun on this vehicle, so I don't know what that machine gunner's doing. But then it has tracks, and not like a half track, like a tank destroyer. It has full tracks. So this really is a perfect hybrid between tank and armored car, and armored weapon carrier, and tank destroyer. Now, does it work in practice? This remains to be seen. As I said, its armor is <laughs> nothing, and it's open-topped, uh, and it's not as fast as you would think. It, it's decently fast. You can get to good positions, and you can get up hills and such, but it's not very fast because it has a very small engine up front, again, like a truck. So... What are we playing along with this? We have the Chi Nu, which is a great tank. 50 millimeters of frontal armor, very weak glaces, but a great gun and a pretty trolly turret. You can get bounces pretty well if you angle well enough. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this vehicle. And if we were get really desperate, we're either going to be playing the Chi He with a small 47 millimeter or the Honey with a lower penetration 75 millimeter gun, the same gun that is on this turreted tank. So that's enough talking for now. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get into War Thunder. Again, as mentioned in the previous video, uh, by the way, I'm recording a lot of these simultaneously, or one right after, right after, right after the other. So, you're going to get a lot of me at dwindling, or the same energy, hopefully. So, uh, there will be more Italians. My last, uh, probably, Let's Play will be the Italians, so I can get nice and hyped up for my last, uh, my last gameplay. But let me just look at the, uh... Oh! I don't think I've played this out yet for you guys, but I'm, yeah, I might play this out. The chi -ha Shortgun. I don't believe this was premium, uh, until a short while ago. But it's essentially a... A heavy, high-explosive derp gun on a... Chiha Kai chassis. Excuse me. Poland, wonderful map for the NATO. We're going to be going up to this sniping spot or this one. As said before, we have enough penetration that we don't really have to worry about things like KV-1s, but uh, we don't have the APCR to make that bet come to fruition. So, we have 127 millimeters of pen. And at the range of about, you know, a thousand meters, we have 95 millimeters of pen, which should be enough to get through the front of a T-34. But even in that case, I think I'd still aim for the turret. Let me turn down my volume just a little bit so I'm not shouting over this game. Uh, as far as uh, depression goes, you know, with the tank destroyer, it's pretty important. We have okay depression. It's not great. It's negative seven degrees. Uh, traverse of the turret. Uh, it's mostly traversing the gun, and it's not great either. Uh, there is a small gun shield, but again, you're not expecting armor with this vehicle. Just kind of stay out of the way of other things. You are pretty fast. Again, similar in speed to a uh, self-propelled gun like the Stug. Or, uh, you know, the 88mm Flak. But you don't have the advantages of the Flak, and you don't have the armor of the Stug. 
So again, it's it really is a trade-off. If you like this sort of camping style uh, vehicle, please, by all means, use it. Because it's pretty hard to find a sniper like this in War Thunder that, that, that is this high quality. So we're going to... Actually, I'm going to put myself a little bit more out there. Possibly right up on this rise. I don't want any uh, leaves in my way is all my issue. Though it does appear that they're going right up the gut. So I may just go over here. Yeah, okay, please don't fall over, for the love of God. Please don't. Please don't. Oh, good dive, good dive. How beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's right, we're bringing this into close combat, where basically anything we look at we're going to kill in one shot, because armor-piercing high explosive is amazing! And I didn't check out the uh, high explosive content on this, which might be an issue, but with our depression... And I don't know what the rate of fire is on this either. Basically, I didn't do a lot of research on this vehicle because I just knew, okay, turretless tank destroyer. I know how that works. I've played the Martyrs. I've played the Stugs. I know how it works. But, uh, I guess we can sort of... Oh, wow. That's pretty... That's better than I expected. Oh, there he is. Didn't even have to kill him. So we're going to slow down. That... Look at that reload rate. Okay, we're already ready to fire again. Okay, uh, we're going to turn in here. Let that little bounce a bit. Oh, whoa. That isn't... What the... Oh, we, we're bouncing on his turret. Come on. Despawn already. Get out of here. Shoo. Shoo. Alright. So, um, I don't see anything over there. Again, as I said, we, we don't have any machine guns, so we don't have a way to take down branches or any debris. But I'm going to hide right here for the tank to... Ah, KV-1. Goodbye. I missed. That was anticlimactic. There's a tank destroyer coming in from that side. We're going to pull out and maybe give somebody a scare. Oh, ow. M3. He's done. Ego Co. I don't think... Yeah, he can pen us. Good shot. Gonna pull up eight. There's another Japanese tank. Like, as an Ego Co, as someone who's had to play the Ego Co to get up here, I feel sad for him because, like, he's just trying to get do anything to get away from that tank. Uh, and he can actually kill me, so, you know, I feel like I'm kind of taking something from him. Oh my gosh, there's two mediums approaching on my position as an SPG. This is kind of why I take out planes. Oh, this it's a Nato, actually. Wow. Yeah, you kill him. So we're going to drop one bomb on the M10. And one right here on the M4 and the M3. And then we're going to kill ourselves because we have to get back into our vehicle and assault those tanks that we just dropped bombs on. Moving out. M4 right here. He's done. Good tank kill. Good one shot, actually. Alright, we're going to bring ourselves out. Turn in. Oh, that's too early. Not a good shot. Off. Critical hit. I don't know what we hit. Maybe we broke his treads. We're going to get into an air battle if we survive the next 11 seconds. Oh! <laughs> well, <laughs> we're in the air. But uh, we've died on the ground, so that's good. We survived that 11 seconds, and now we're back in the air. I Never a dull moment. Never a dull moment. That's what I'm going to try and do. Wellington at long range. We don't really have the speed to catch up with him, I don't think. But we do have his one of his gunners knocked unconscious. There's his other gunner. He's got bombs off, but we can still kill him. Or at least we can ram him. Man, Wellington is fast, man. Wellington is really fast. There we go. Got his wing. Good dive, good dive. T28 killed us, probably with a high explosive round. Or you know machine guns, because he can do that too. Chi two, Chi new time. Now this is a tank that we can bum rush B with. Plenty of armor for a Japanese tank, and a wonderful gun for uh, penetrating KV1s and M4s. Because the high explosive, the APHE tends to just cleave right through their armor quite well. Even angled to a certain degree. Not with the KV1 as much, but... 
We're going to go to A, actually. Because a lot of our team's at B, and they need some support at A. So we're going to get on that train. Put some uh, bullets up at this hurricane. Maybe try and keep them away from us. That is not working, is it? All right. Well, we can worry about that later. We're going to take this main road towards A. Keep our good old 43 kilometers of speed up. Not seeing anything here. Just concerning. I see a lot of light tanks and mediums at A, so we're going to keep our gun to this side to aim into it. But I don't want to completely commit because there's going to be something coming up in front of me in a couple seconds. And angling in. M24. Dead. Pulling out. M3. Fire. No death. M24. Got our engine. Didn't kill us. It doesn't kill you. Gets you killed, bud. We didn't kill his gunner. Maybe we did. Alright, no kill on that. That M3, there's an M4A5105, or an M4A3105. How has no one seen him yet? Uh-oh. Oh, they got my gunner. Come on, repair the engine. I gotta get out of here. He's gonna try and shoot my ammo. Yep. Good shot, good shot. Oh, it was from all the way over there. I guess I should've just kept my gun there. But, at least he wasted his shot on us, and now there's a KV-1 and all these other things to deal with him. Oh, and I have a backup for my Chinu. That's great. We go for C then. Because we're probably going to take A, right? Is A being... No, A is being commanded by our opponents, which means that we should probably go for that. We're going to advance on A with these other mediums here. Or at least with this T-34. That is up ahead of us. KV-1. Spotted long range. Round away. No penetration. He's moving, but we can still pen that. Good hit on his track, but no kill. Try again. Doesn't look like we're getting any headway with this, but... One last round. Yeah, nope. I don't think we can penetrate that. We don't just We just don't have the round for it. That the Nato could get through that, but I don't think this sh this shorter 75 will be able to do so. Ah, uh, perfect. We're gonna roll into A. Kill assist on that M24, who we damaged earlier with the killing his loader. T34 up in the air. Gonna bounce in and out of this hole and get myself to A as fast as this thing could carry me, which is actually quite a clip for a tank that th this size. Alright, we're going to turn in. I don't feel like facing whatever's out there head on. Hopefully someone kills that T-34. I don't think I can deal with that with this gun. Mostly because of lack of penetration. Alright, I'm just being quiet because I really want to... I'm keeping my eyes open for, you know, anything except for that KV-1 because I, I really don't care. Come on. He's not going to kill me. It's whatever I see in here that's going to kill me. Guarantee you it's going to be a steward or something. Oh, nothing. Okay, there's nothing here. We angle our tank. And aim right there. That's where they're going to come from. Right in that hole. I got my eyes on the minimap. Going to try and track them as they come in. I have my front place angled. Maybe move back just a little bit. I want to stay here. I'll get into a plane in a minute. Okay. Ah, crap. A little too late. Just a bit. All right, I'm going to pull back then. Keep myself angled. Keep myself well out of the way. But once I, once I capture this point, I'm going to go straight out and hit them from the side. Good offensive move. Kept the zone. There's a Stug 3 ahead of us, but we need to worry about these guys first. Where are they? Oh, they're right ahead of us. It's that T-34, isn't it? No, but there's a Type 94 over there. What's this? Okay, I don't know where they are. It's freaking me out. Where are they? Alright. Should be a turn in here. Nope, nothing here. 
Are they right over here? I'm just having a hard time navigating the map. Yep, it's a Chinu. One of them's a Chinu. He's done. There's another tank here, isn't there? Well, if there isn't, there's an SKFSD who can, I think, penetrate our upper plate with his uh, AP round. His APCR. Oh, uh, just die. I have all these MGs. You may have a couple of them. I don't need them. Alright. KV-1. No penetration, but definitely a hit. No penetration, but a miss. But rather a miss. Oh! Clean miss. SKFSD. I'd rather get this one extra kill. Or die by a KV-1S. That sounded like heat. Guess that was just AP HE, right? Yep. Actually, he went through our ammo and killed our crew. No problem. That one that one KV can't kill us all. Because there's another KV-1S here to duel it out with him. Who's doing quite well at using that upper plate. I think they can go like this for a while. Or not. Wow, okay, good shot. Now for the last SKFSD, and I think they're out of vehicles. And round is away. Didn't stop him. Now that 20 mil doesn't have enough penetration to get through this thing anywhere. Anywhere at all, at least, I'm pretty sure. There we go. It's the last of those vehicles, and even if there wasn't, we've got plenty of support vehicles coming up. T-34s, Panzer 4F2s, there's something in the B-point capturing it. Oh my god, where's that T-34? Alright, it's up to you, T-34, Mod 1942. You could just go to, to A and capture it. Eh, it'd probably be faster to finish off this last vehicle. Which is a Stug, of course, right? Right there? Is that Stug the one capturing? No? He's on the other side of the church. Alright, let's see what it is before he does. It's a Stug. It's another Stug. It's a superior Stug. Alright, Panzer IV F2 coming up from behind. Ah, well, that's game over anyway. Not bad at all for the Nato. Good round on Poland by myself. Alright, place on team third, even though we copped out a little early. Let's go for another round. Not bad at all. The uh, M24, that Japanese tank, I, I just missed my shot. I should have shot a little bit lower. That was my bad. Port Novosk. Uh, we can play the Nato here. Get a long sight line along one of the rail lines to A. and Or along the coast. The water here. And try and snipe into the point. Nato it is. Nato it up. Let's go, go, go. Alright. I'm hoping to not get rammed in the back by one of my own players. But I think that might might be the case. It looks like we got down tiered as well. There's a lot of Chiha Kai's and other things, which means that we can be way more like unconscious when making these shots. Uh, especially with things like the Chiha Kai, we won't have any problem getting through a target uh, at this range and at this BR. But we do have to worry a lot more about 50 cals, I think. Depending on how many Americans are on the other side. And judging, again, by the amount of uh, anti-tank vehicles moving forward, I think I'm going to be moving up with them. You know, scrap the whole long sight lines thing. I'm, I want to go up behind this guy. I believe he it has the way. It's an LVT. M5A1, I gotta play that out for you guys. You know, sometime. BT5. Oh my gosh, don't ram me. Don't ram me in the back. Nope. Goodbye, Panzer 2 Dak. 
don't have to deal with that today. No, sir. No, sir. I'm getting out of here. I am gone. I am gone, gone. Eh, I could kill that T-34, but I don't want to get greedy. You get greedy, and then you get needy. Alright. Bring ourselves up close and get that T-34 anyway, right? No? Alright, he was farther back. We gotta wait a little bit. There's another T-34. This looks like there's a medium tank right there, but uh, I don't see it. Let's see if we can't get a good lay on him beforehand. And he's dead. He's on fire, excuse me. LVAT. This should be a good shot. No hit. And no pen, obviously. We don't have any fire extinguishers, but we can capture. We can still capture. There's a leg of a crew member left. Nope. <laughs> this is what happens when you get urban maps. Tank destroyers don't perform all that well. Alright. Chi new time. This should be no problem. This is a much better vehicle for this map. Seven to get into a plane. Make sure that we don't get bombed early, because that's pretty important. Junker 87. We gotta dive if he's fast. Junker 87G. Wonder if he's got bombs or the machine guns. Oh, whoa. Looks like he's got machine guns anyway, so it won't matter, but... Still, a little unnerving to be sniped out of my cockpit like that. This is shaping up to not be as good, but let's see if we can uh, pull it out with a little aggressive Japanese tactics. And by a little aggressive, I mean incredibly, unnecessarily, suicidally aggressive. Yep, he has the machine guns, and he's already dead. Love it. Love that plane. You gotta love it. Love putting 37mm anti-tank guns on a plane that you can't aim. And that are way too far spaced apart to hit anything. Gotta love it. Alright, I'm seeing a lot of things, but I'm not seeing a lot of things that I can kill. That's got so many machine guns on it, I love it. M4. Tons of Onung. I reload faster than you. I'm pretty sure that I do. Doesn't matter because it's... <laughs> uh, T-34s. Eh, he got a good shot. Right into the side of the turret too. But we got that M4. He's not going to be flanking. And we can take out another Chinu. Because I don't need backups for this vehicle ever. AM. He doesn't have a bomb, right? Yeah, he wouldn't drop it at our spawn even if he did. Let's take out another plane. Buy ourselves some time. There's two enemy fighters with us this time, so let's hope we get something fast in German. Some good 20 mils should rip right through. Or Japanese, that works too. IL-4. This is going to be a little bit harder. He's Russian. Russians are more difficult to kill. Not impossible, though. Not with these Japanese 20 mils and machine gun. Or at the very least, we can ram. I can hear those buzz saws right behind me. IL-4. One second. MG's back online. Oh, man. He's killed our engine. Uh, I, can't keep, I can't keep up with him. But I made him drop his bombs off early, I think. So, yeah, he didn't get any kills. No problem. No problem. Doing my job. All that matters, as long as I do my job, I have done well for the team. Though they are doing some nice strafing runs on our AT guns. Which are not fun. Yes, that rhymed. No, I don't care. Get your Panzer 3 J's out of my hair. Panzer 4 F1. 
Panzer III. Seeing a lot of Panzers, not many T-34s, which is a good sign. And M3, which is not ever a good sign. Sturm Panzer. No longer a Sturm Panzer. Alright, I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna get up in this. There's the T-34. Kill. Valentine. Let's add this one as another kill. Another kill. Good shot. Oh, we could have made that a quad had we gotten a shot on that T-34 ahead of time. But that was a good triple kill. Very late game. And he got a lucky shot as well right into that. That it spread his explosive around a little bit more. Good job, Chinu. Good job uh, with the high penetration on the Nato. Admittedly, I'm not so much a fan. As you know, I, I, li I don't like light-skinned TDs as much. But I do like tank destroyers in general. And that is a very fun one to play. And third on my team, parts and transmission for the Nato and the Chinu. Not a bad day all told. Let's look at this Chiha shortgun. Now, as you can see, it's a Chiha Kai with an elongated turret to accommodate uh, a little bit of extra armor on the mantlet, obviously, because it's a larger gun. And a short breech, short barreled naval 120mm gun. So there's these large 120mm rounds. Five crew members. These, this has to be the closest you can get three crew members in a tank. I don't know how the loader is supposed to kneel down, grab one of these 120 millimeter rounds that I'm under the impression weigh short, ordinary, high explosive. It's far from ordinary. With an explosive mass of 2.52 kilograms and a whole total weight of 13 kilograms, that's not all that heavy, but... It's a little heavy for you to be hauling around inside of a moving tank. But, as you saw with the ordinary, quote-unquote, high explosive, it has 31 millimeters of penetration and far more than... A, nope, I want to take it out for a test drive, thank you. Far more than enough high explosive to splash down onto any surface that is not armored. And since 31 millimeters is just enough to kill most vehicles in the game, this should not be that all that difficult to fire. However, firing it is a bit like firing a bomb. Man, it's fast. Horrible turret rotation. Oh my gosh, it's awful turret rotation. But uh, that's to be expected. Maybe not firing directly at the vehicle is kind of what's required. Maybe firing under or to the side of it. Let's see what happens if we fire directly at the front of this. There we go. It works a li it feels a little bit like a heat round, but I guess that must just be like the small particles that come off. Let's, uh, let's slow down a bit. And detonate somewhere where we're going to get penetration guarantees. There we go. Ugh. Not a lot of damage off that one. Let's see if we can't get another shot. Right under there. Shot. Huh. Guess it's not doing as much as I thought it was going to. One more shot on this. We have a hull mounted machine gun, I believe. Yeah. The reload is not bad for a derp gun. Yeah, you could definitely set stuff on fire with this, break cannon barrels, but it is more of a meme derp gun. I don't see this doing as much as, say, the Sturm Panzer, just because of its higher penetration value, but I do see it being. Way more maneuverable than the Sturm Panzer. Having a turret, probably having better damage at range. Or, I mean, just having better range in general because of its turret and its ability to, you know, depress and... I don't know. Ascend? What's the opposite of depress? I don't know the opposite of depression, but, uh... Ascension? Yeah, I guess it'd be Ascension. But, you know, it's another derp gun. You can always use more of these in the game. I want the Italians to have a better derp gun. I want a 149mm uh, derp gun, which the Italians did have, but go check out my uh, my Italian Rage video if you want to check that out. It actually, uh, we're getting some nice feedback. I I'm really, I'm glad that people are starting to enjoy my videos more, and I I'm super, super psyched that people have been watching. 
it really feels great to know that some that someone is actually watching these, even though they are kind of cookie cutter, cut and paste. Oh my god, we're the same size as a, as a Super Pershing. I can't believe this thing has a similar hull size to the Super Pershing, and we're just as tall. That is, that is embarrassing. All right, well, I really appreciate it, guys. It's always a pleasure to know that somebody enjoys your work, and this is really a passion, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.